Hey, Craig. Uh, this is not a retirement from the two things that define who you are. And those two things are that you love God and that you love other people. And it's been my privilege to see you live out uh, those defining characteristics of your life for a decade up close and then another decade of your care from distance. And, you know, honestly, as I look at your life, that's all that matters to you. And that's what makes you the beautiful person that you are. Um, in, in, in our own journey, you know, you were there for Sierra's adoption day and the birthdays of all my kids. And, and uh, when we came back to Minnesota on that holiday a few years ago, I mean, even uh, my, my kids, they, they still talk about that Minnesota trip. They, they say, Dad, if we ever move back to Minnesota, can we move in with the Murrays? So, so, you know, you, we, I always talk about how uh, we need to, our, our faith needs to show itself in being present and available and helpful for people. And uh, you've, you've really just evidenced that. And, you know, whether it was our French park walks, our weekly walks, our prayer times, uh, that time that you helped me f uh, fix my brake pads. It was such a powerful, powerful display of what it meant to love God and have that love translate into loving others. Look, faith is important, but if it doesn't manifest itself in tangible acts of love for other people, it's, it's worthless. Well, your faith is far, far from worthless, Craig. And, uh, you know, you've been in my corner for a long time, Craig. And, you know, you've loved me enough to speak correction into my life. And uh, I've needed correction on more than one occasion. And I thank you for, for that. And there's one other thing that I remember that I just have to share. And, and th this is something that I want to emulate in my life and that I learned from you. And one time, uh, Craig, I don't even know if you remember this, but... One time we were doing a hospital visit together and we parked for whatever reason at the far end of the parking garage. And we got out of the car. We didn't say a word to each other, but we, our eyes met and the race was on. And so without a word, we both just took off like rockets to, the, to running at top speed all the way down to the end of the, uh, the parking garage to the elevator. And it was like a neck and neck race. We were just giving her, I think you had a tie flapping in the breeze. And we were just, we both had to win. And I think, are you like 20 years older than I am? Any case, you were a worthy opponent that day. And we, we, we slammed into the elevator uh, at top speeds and, and we were laughing and huffing and puffing and there was just this zest for life, this, this love of being alive, and this gratitude for God who's given this life. And that was, that was what I got out of that crazy experience. And then we sort of just you know, straightened up and got serious and busted out Psalm 23 or whatever and went into the elevator and did our, our hospital call. But that zest for life that you have is such a beautiful, beautiful thing. That, uh, that I've been able to glean from you. So, Craig, I'm proud of you. You've done well. I love you, and uh, God bless.